Hey guys, so this video is about a 96 channel PWM controller. Yes, that is 96 channels of PWM at a resolution of 4,095 steps. I'm gonna be using this controller to control LEDs and also this video is gonna be slightly different where I'm gonna break it up into three videos. So this is the first one which is basically showing you how to assemble the hardware. The next one's gonna be on how the software works and the last one's gonna be on how I used it. So let's get right into what's on your screen. Right on your screen is a Raspberry Pi version two a case for that Raspberry Pi, a bunch of connectors, a bunch of standoffs, a eight gig SD card, a bunch of headers, and then most importantly, six 16 channel Pi hats from Adafruit. Um, this is their 16 channel PWM versions. So let's get straight into how to put it all together. Okay guys, so once you've removed everything out of its packaging, this is what you're gonna be left with, but six times, because six of each of these items. So what you're gonna be is, you're gonna see is, is a 16 channel PWM Pi hat, that's the blue circuit board. Next to that is a blue power connector. Underneath that is four right angle four pin connectors, two headers, two nuts, and two standoffs, as well as four 16 pin headers. So let's first remove what you're not going to need. You're not going to need that little header and you're not going to need those four pins. Okay, so let me just fast forward this while I basically loosely assemble everything. Okay guys, if you couldn't really see what I was doing, this is what I was doing. I was putting the white connectors onto the signal outputs for the PWM, as you can see with the, the red marker. The next thing I did was I put in the blue power connector. After that, I put in this long black header. And then after that, I put in the standoffs. Um, after that, all you need to do is just solder it all up and you're basically done with the hardware. So this is what it looks like once you've uh, stacked it all together. Just a uh, note that uh, you should probably connect something to those blue power connectors before you stack it because you won't be able to get a screwdriver in there. It's very simple, you just twist those uh, standoffs together and basically stack it all, it's all good. Um, you are gonna have to cut a uh, slot in the bottom there um, so that it will fit, but uh, that's pretty much it. So I've got two more videos coming out. One is gonna be on how to program this and the other one's gonna be on how I used it. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, please thumbs it up. If you didn't, thumbs it down. Uh, please comment with how I can improve it or if you have any questions. So I uh, hope you'll enjoy this montage as the video ends.